Uh, Sharon and Mark, thank you so much for giving up your time. Um, You're what I really want to do is share your experience of moving to mm -hmm. Noosa mm -hmm. um, and share some of your insights, I think, for people that are looking to make the move like you guys are and just perhaps give them a bit more confidence that they are doing the right thing. Well, so, I certainly are, that's for sure. <laughs> we know that. Right, absolutely. So, I mean, it sounds like a silly question, but why Noosa? Well, we've been holidaying, and originally we're from Sydney, but we've been holidaying in Noosa probably for the past 25 years. So to us, it's always been our go-to place for a holiday. It's got the most beautiful beaches. We love to surf. The national park's amazing. The restaurants, well, you know, they're like world class, whether it be in Noosa, Sunshine Beach, or Noosaville. So all these things are just wonderful for us. So um, my parents lived at Sunshine Beach for 30 odd years. They retired up here as well. Yeah. So again, it's another place that we've always called home. We've always wanted to get here. We wanted our children to live here as well. Uh, so it was always a matter of when. So we're really excited about being here and it's just been the best move we've made, hasn't it? Uh, absolutely. And we've actually, the exciting thing is we've actually moved about 10 years earlier than we thought we would. Um, and the opportunity came up and we've just thought, let's do it. And we have three teenage daughters. So they've all, one's not at, one's at uni and two are at school. So it was actually a big move to bring them up. But yeah, it's just always been our place. So we'd come up two or three times a year mm -hmm. to that visit family. So it's just an easy holiday, isn't it? Oh, like, it is. You know, you jump on that plane, mm -hmm. airport's close, you know, so yeah. And the other thing, Monique, like when you're living here, everything's only 10 minutes away from what you want to do. So whether it's the beach, restaurants, going for a walk, Everything's just really accessible and that makes it great. Yeah. So yeah, we love it. And everyone's always on time. And we, that's something that we've always, that we've <laughs> noticed. We go, cause there's no traffic. Like we're yes. used to so much traffic in Sydney and you know, leaving 40 minutes before you need to be somewhere. So it's, it's something we've really noticed. It is true actually, it's the ease of commuting anywhere, isn't it? For like sure. you want to go somewhere, sometimes in the cities and you hold back and think, oh, actually I won't bother cause it's such an effort. Whereas here, Nothing's yeah. an effort, is it? And taxis it? and Ubers are so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, $6, $10 if oh, you yeah, can get fantastic. anywhere. So, yeah, and we even bought a little perfect. moped, so just get around on a moped as well as the cars. Quicker. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's so much fun. It's a blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up in the National Park. And um, just a query, obviously you're living in Noosa Waters. Um, how did you, I guess, filter down your decision to buy in that area versus Sunshine or the mm -hmm. Interland or areas like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good question because they're all, it's an amazing precinct, whether it be Sunshine or Noosa Heads, Sunrise. Uh, we love the beach, but we really love the waterways of, uh, of Noosa Waters. So when we looked at buying a house, we wanted to be overlooking the water. We wanted to be you know, seeing the boats go through of an afternoon, watch the amazing sunsets. And the other thing which I think about Noosa Waters is a little bit different to others is that we're five minutes away from Hastings Street. Mm -hmm. So it can be as busy as we'd like and we wouldn't know it or if we want to get involved in that business, we're there as well. So it really feels like, um, in a way, like an insular suburb, but a beautiful suburb to that. So you can do as much or as little as you want. So Noosa Waters was, was a pretty easy decision for us in the end because you know, I love the beach, Sharon loves the beach, but not the water as much as I do. Mm -hmm. But by looking out over the water, of an afternoon and just looking at sunset and having a champagne. Isn't it magnificent? It is, it is. It's like you're like holidays every day. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That's true. And that leads us to the other little thing that we had to invest in. Um, being on the water side was a pontoon boat. So that has been amazing. So we bought that about six months after we moved here. Yeah. And that's just the easiest thing. And we're not into, we have never would have thought we'd bought, buy a boat, but this is different. You yeah. just, now let's go for a cruise and we jump on, our two cavaliers jump on with us and <laughs> off we go. And it's just so easy, like you just turn on the motor, off you go and, and come back and then just tie up the boat and then you're done. So again, as Sharon said, it was nothing that we would normally do before and it's just another extension of, of part of the life at Noosa. It's and great. enjoying the lifestyle, yeah, that's that's right. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and I know like on the waterways, you sort of make your friends, don't you? you? Know. When you see the same boats out there. And yeah. That's a really good point too because uh, we've actually done well, we found a lot of friends out know, that way just by meeting different people out there and everybody's so friendly and wonderful, aren't they? Yes. Like you've always made that point about why people are so happy at Noosa. Oh, that's it. And that was one of my, and, and you know, have been here as a holiday maker and now as a resident, like that's been fantastic. But I said to Mark, everyone's always smiling, well, most people are always smiling and happy. Yeah. One is because they live here yeah. or the second is because they're on holidays. So it's just a really friendly, mm -hmm. friendly place to be. So, and we really um, made friends quite easily. And you know, I've gotten into the gym, which I didn't do at home, I have a sign in Sydney. Um, and then with some other groups, like with the Nurse of Waters lunch group, uh, yes. our book club. <laughs> I know that yes, yeah. you know that. Um, our book club.
book club. I've never been part of a book club before. Yeah. Um, well, Mark, call, club. Mark calls it the wine club. Yes. And, the, um, um, book club. Yes, 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 so. yes, yes. And that's fantastic. And what we find is that there's lots of other you know, couples our age or a little bit older, mm -hmm. and but we're all just so happy to be here. Yeah. And everyone's, you know, ready to have fun. And, and that's been great with Mark meeting friends as well, uh, the husbands of my girlfriends or, yeah. you know, and that's, that's fantastic. But, right. Yeah. Now I'll just go back to when you were gathering information around your purchase, mm -hmm. like, um, how did you gather all that information and was there anything missing that might have been helpful to consider perhaps? Um, look, I think these days with the internet, things are so much easier. So we would have a look at the domain, we'd have a look at realestate.com and we'd be looking for a period of time. Uh, before we actually decided that we were finally going to move, but always doing some background information. The great thing about you know, real estate, etc., is that there's one you could see what houses are on the market, the other thing is you could identify what houses have been sold. So when we were ready to buy that house, we knew that the price was kind of around the money, So, right. which is actually a really important thing when you're coming from interstate, you want to know that you're buying the house at the right price. Exactly. Yeah. And Mark's Mr. Research, so right. he was, had his finger on the pulse with all of that. But it's pretty easy to do with yeah. that with that stuff because it is so available. Mm. You're able to come in with an informed decision and be very confident with that. Yeah. So that's Amazing. important. Mm. Right. Definitely, definitely. And when you tied in that search, how long did it take? So you sort of been looking, you said on and off, as we all do when we holiday here first. Yeah, to, to actually make the decision yeah. of buying the house. And uh, or you know to tighten the search and yeah, say this is the one. Oh, oh, that to you. oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are uh, we are quite. Um, for big decisions, we just not what we want to do, or we just yep. do it. So, um, once we decided to move up here, um, we just thought we're just going to go up and do an initial search. Um, we we're only out here overnight, and we didn't tell him when we were coming. We just thought, oh, let's just do a bit of research and have a look. So we we're on the plane, and I said to Mark, no, no matter what, this is just to feel it and have a look for it, you know, seriously. But we're not buying anything. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So we we're here for a very short, within 24 hours. Um, we had found it. So it was actually the first house that we looked at. Wow. Um, but then we looked at, you know, seven or eight in that time as well. And, but it, we just kept coming back to that one. We went back to that three times. Mm -hmm. And it was actually an older home, um, 20 years old, but had beautiful bones and position, you know, north facing next to a park, all that sort of thing. Um, and then we did the complete Reno yeah. on it before yes. we move. And I must say, you've done a fantastic yeah. job oh, having thank been you. through it. Yeah. I can say it has nothing to do with yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, She's definitely got the magic touch. She's so oh, thank you. Yes. I enjoyed every minute of it, so it's great. And I guess a big question for people moving here also is income and how do they generate income? Mm -hmm. And I thought you guys run a business interstate. Mm -hmm. um, you've been doing that, I believe, quite successfully for the last year now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, can you tell us a bit about that? How it works? You know, how you make it work as a couple and a family and a business person? Yeah, well, I might start off on that. It's, uh, it's. I think the whole thing goes into the planning. Once you make that decision uh, as a family that we're going to move to Noosa then we had to get that business fit or get it ready. So, you know, what we decided to do, we decided to um, firstly step back a little bit, so enable our other staff. Uh, we have 34 staff in our business in Sydney. Oh, so we yeah. keep pretty busy. Big yeah. business, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. So we just enabled and made sure that they had the ability to take over from us on a daily basis. So we went from being there five days a week to four to three, etc. Once we felt com comfortable with those guys being able to do that, that's when we made that decision that, okay, right, and we're ready to go. And couple that with a lot of technology these days, it's very easy to run a business from home. So there's a lot of things that we can do on a day-to-day -day basis which enables us to run that business effectively. So that works really well. Do you want to talk mm. about travel and, and things like that? And that's right. And we, you know, when we put a lot of time and effort into uh, the culture of our business and into our staff, and it's about having those few amazing key staff that you know have your same, you know, values and interests, in, and they want it to be like when you're when you're not there. Um, so, and they are that. And they, and, and as Mark said, um, it really actually empowered them a lot by us stepping back. Mm -hmm. It actually developed them because without us being there, they go, oh, well, no, we have to do it and we can do it. So, um, so we travel um, alternating times. Um, it used to be alternating weeks, but it's less than that now. So that's oh. fantastic. Actually, we haven't, even, we haven't been back in a, a month, actually. Um, so, but at first we were doing it, as I said, alternating weeks, and now it's every few weeks, probably. Um, for really big things, both of us go back, and it's like two nights. 
Um, and, and our daughters are that little well, teenager and they, they've got their licenses and they can you know, get around. So that's really good as well. So, but now that we go, like the plan is to make yourself a bit obsolete. Um, yeah. So that when we do go back, it really is just for the relationships of, you know, with, with the families and, and our staff. And, and they love it when we come back as well. Oh, that's what they tell us. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just been really stepping back. And um, yeah, it's, it's really worked well. And as Mark said, like things like email, you know, every email that comes into the office, we yes. see it. Um, so whilst we might reply occasionally, like we know with our director what she's doing and you know how she handles things and um, yeah, it's been fantastic. Yeah, so you put some things in a place to manage your risk. Now, is it a bit of a leap of faith? Well, you know, you always think, what if, <laughs> is that going to work? Yeah. And the answer is it actually does. You know, if you, if you plan effectively, like you do with anything, you know, it actually ends up working out okay. And, it, and again, it enables us to have that great relationship. Uh, up here in Nursa, so if we have to travel, you know, two days a fortnight, we'll do that every week, no dramas, or if it needs to be more, it doesn't matter because it's, you know, you know that's what needs to happen. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so you mentioned you've got the girls in schools, mm -hmm. so, you know, there are a lot of good schools around here. Two questions around that. How did you pick the school mm -hmm. and how hard was it to get a spot? Because I think that's a decision point for people mm -hmm. like, well, yourself and myself yes. when we moved here. Yeah, 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 and you know what, and there's lots of fantastic schools in, in the area. And um, I had done some research and I chose St Andrews, um, which is very similar to the girls' school in Sydney in terms of the size. So it's a um, private Anglican school, K to 12, around 13 to 1400 children, um, very sports oriented. Um, and that, and so I had a call with them, with the director of enrolments there. Then we came in, Mark and I just came in on that sneaky trip to yes. Nusa and we were just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> checking everything out and met with them, had a tour and instantly fell in love with it. Um, it is actually 15 minutes away from where we are at Noosa Waters, but 15 minutes is nothing when you're used to much longer in Sydney. Um, and it's definitely worth, worth going there and our girls absolutely love it. So they're um, yeah, in, in high school and they love it better than their Sydney school. Really? So, so they've really settled in, integrated. Because mm -hmm. you move them as teenagers, sometimes that could be tricky. It but can be, yeah. Yeah, as 16 and 14 year olds, so that's so that's tricky. But, you know, um, but it's really how St Andrews handle it as well, how they have their buddy system and really integrating um, the children. Because living in Noosa, there are lots of people that do come and go, but then do stay as well. So um, that's that's worked really well and they love it and when your daughters say I love school mum like that's the best yeah. thing that you can ever have. So, and they've got surfing on the curriculum. And surfing yeah. and I was very excited about that part. Yes. Not that they're big into that as such but they love the water yeah, and they do yeah. go out and have a surf and that Amazing. sort of thing and just different sports as well that they've been exposed to and they're both you know doing water polo and I've been hitting it all in Sydney but they're doing that again so and then our eldest daughter um, is in business at Sunshine Coast Uni, yeah, so um, that's if you're down. So, Amazing. oh, yeah. that's not far, yeah. yeah Amazing, okay. Um, so, now that you've lived here, I guess, for a period of time, um, what are three things you'd tell yourself um, or the next person thinking about moving here? Do it, do it, do it. Right, <laughs> right now, absolutely. I, I absolutely. And, and you know, and sometimes you just do it and you know, our friends that have come up to visit us and they just love it. They just see us as like living the dream. Yep. And, you know, obviously, we, you know, it's been lucky with, well, not lucky, but how we've organized with our business, but it is possible. And sometimes you just need to make that leap and you make it work. But, you know, and moving here was really, another part of it was that work-life balance, gaining that, mm -hmm. that balance in my life because I am very full on. Uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist yeah. and whatever I'm in, I'm really, really in. Um, but it came to a time where I go, oh, do you know what, I just want to be with my girls again. Yeah. So, and, and it works fantastically like when I'm here because I have confidence in our staff. I'm just in here, I'm immersed in the lifestyle and I'm not worried about that at all. And then, but when, once I'm back in Sydney, which I don't like the concept of going back, but one, once we're at our, at our um, business, I love it. So I give my all to that. So, um, yes, but definitely, 
do it sooner then because then we can you can enjoy it for longer like i honestly thought we'd come in like 10 minutes time yeah absolutely yeah and it's just everything is fun we are never bored there's yeah. always so many things to do and like as i said before like you can be as busy as you like or as quiet as like we choose to be busy because that's our lifestyle yeah so we go to the gym we go to the beach we take our dogs to the doggy beach those two unbelievable doggy beaches I think a lot of people love having their dogs yeah. at home but mm -hmm. to take them to the beach so close like in sydney that was just a real chore it was quite difficult to do yeah. So everything that we do, we just love here and you know, it's like a holiday every single day. I know, I know that sounds a bit corny, yeah. but it's absolutely <laughs> how we feel. Yeah, no. It really is. And, and we wake up, and I know I do, particularly because my girls always give us, our girls give us a hard time about it. We go, this is just beautiful. But it is. Yeah. It really Fantastic. is. It's very special. It is. And, um, and then when, and actually one of our youngest daughters, her family, is doing the same in um, a few months time. And they came to visit us at the start of the year and they go, Oh my goodness, like if they can do it, we can do it. And, and that's what they're doing. Well. And they're self employed yeah. and um, they're building a house. So um, that's happening. Great. So yeah. it, it really, you can do it. You just need to go, you know, just make it happen. Yeah. Okay. Um, and just one quick one is there anything missing from what you used to do back in Sydney? Here. Any gaps on what oh, you yeah. like to do? Traffic. Traffic. Lots of traffic missing. <laughs> so there's nothing. There's nothing that I can think of which is a yeah. bad thing. You know, um, yeah. do we miss our friends? Well, we do a little bit, but they come up here and visit yeah. us anyway. True. And you know, if there's one downside, they're visiting every weekend or every, every month or so. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, there's nothing that I can say that we miss. No. Yeah. No. Nothing at all. And um, friends had said to us, just be prepared for that first year when you just yes. start inundated with visitors coming all the time, which is a great thing. And yeah. I think it's different because, you know, and Mark and I were quite, you know, quite private people, like in Sydney, and we didn't entertain a lot because, I mean, you're so busy with work and all that sort of stuff. But here, when you've got visitors, and because it's a whole different mindset, you're happy and you're so proud of where you live and your lifestyle and you just want to share that piece of paradise with everyone and um, and because we are just so excited and one of the other things is that Mark and I are the sort of people that will never ever take it for granted and we just go how lucky are we like this is cool and our daughters have said that as well and they go oh mum we're just so lucky this is the comment they've made is that we really appreciate it now that we're older as well if we had have lived here much younger we wouldn't appreciate as much as what we do now i mean yeah. i would have been happy as yeah. well um but yes it's just having that appreciation and uh, and i just love the fact that they have school and then they can go to the beach yeah. Yeah. like it's and Absolutely. to live in, in that and it's just a really friendly place and it's just that also it's not that full-on fast-paced lifestyle yeah. as well yeah. so everyone sort of, is on the same pace yes. aren't yes. like obviously i work here and mm. i probably you know work at a pace different to people who aren't working mm. yet i still feel quite relaxed yes. you know every day i get up and yes i work hard but i actually get to enjoy just being here well, so it's I know what you mean. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. definitely you know it's funny because my son's biggest concern is that there's going to be traffic because everyone wants to move here from sydney that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> the concern yeah. so yeah, yeah it's quite funny well thank god for nissa council so yeah. don't worry. That's a good we thing. <laughs> so anyway sharon and mark thank you so much for your time and sharing your um experience mm -hmm. today um you know i think you know people are really going to benefit from that oh you're very Our welcome pleasure. and thank you for having Thank you. We're always happy to tell everyone how amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, great. Okay, thanks Thank for you.